Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new to web designing and want to learn something about how to create an amazing website, then you've come to the right place. Because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a website using Elementor. And while there are many different platforms to choose from that provide similar services, I prefer Elementor because of how easy it is to use and the options for customization. Now, like any service out there, Elementor does have some room for improvement. For example, there are limitations when it comes to custom code where you'll need more advanced options. But overall, I believe this is one of the best options for creating websites, especially if you're just starting out. So by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not Elementor is the right platform for you and your website. And by the way, if at any point throughout this video, you want to check out Elementor for yourself, click the link in the description down below to get up to 33% off your purchase, which you won't find by going directly to the website. Okay, now Elementor is a popular WordPress plugin that allows you to create and design websites without writing code or having advanced technical skills. With the drag and drop interface, it's pretty straightforward and is a great option for beginners. So with Elementor, you can customize the layout, style, and content of your website's pages using a wide range of pre-designed elements and widgets. Now, when it comes to web design, Elementor stands out as a well-known platform because of the useful tools that it offers. And while there are many other options available, Elementor is a great choice because it simplifies the design process and has many features that allow you to customize your website. So Elementor gives you the ability to design and customize your website in a visual way. So you won't have to bother with complex lines or codes since Elementor introduces a seamless drag and drop tool that allows you to position elements exactly where you want them to be. With this, you can use your creativity and get it to look exactly how you want it to be even as a beginner. Now, something that I really like about Elementor is the level of customization that it offers. So other than being easy to use, the platform has a lot of widgets and modules, which gives you the option to include simple elements such as text and images, and then some other advanced ones like sliders, forms, and countdown timers. Now, Elementor is also very responsive. So a responsive design is very important because when someone visits the website on a desktop or a phone, well, the website needs to work well and look good on both devices. And listen, Elementor makes sure that your websites adapt to different screen sizes, offering a good user experience, whether it's on a desktop, tablet, or even a smartphone. All right, now let's talk about templates. So Elementor has a wide range of professionally designed templates to simplify the creative process. I find this particularly beneficial for beginners because you can start with a pre-designed template as the foundation and tweak it to make it unique. This feature doesn't just save you time, it also can give you ideas and inspiration. Also, another important feature that comes with Elementor is its theme building capabilities. What this allows you to do is build your own theme from scratch, which will make your website stand out so much more. And if you're concerned about optimization and speed, Elementor was created in a way that all the pages you design will be lightweight and optimized for faster loading times. This is actually pretty important because pages that load fast not only give the user a good experience, but also make sure that your website ranks higher in search engines. Now listen, Elementor does have a fair share of issues which can be improved. For example, while the drag and drop interface is incredibly user friendly, it sometimes can be limited when it comes to more complex designs. And if you depend on Elementor entirely, that will make it more challenging to learn how to transition to other platforms in the future. But really, these are both things that can be fixed with both practice and a better understanding of the design process. Now, let's talk about the different plans and pricing for Elementor. So there are five main plans, starting with the free plan that will give you access to all the basic features, while the basic plan costs about $10 a month and gives you more storage, monthly visits, and bandwidth. There's also the business plan that costs about $20 a month and includes even more storage, monthly visits, and bandwidth. It also gives you a stacking environment, which means you'll be able to test all new features and make changes without interfering with the live version of your website. Now, the next option is the grow plan, which includes even more storage, monthly visits, bandwidth, 
and you can work on three websites at once, all for about $23 a month. And you'll also get a cloning feature, which allows you to duplicate an existing website's design, content, and functionality, saving you a lot of time, which would otherwise be spent on starting from scratch. And the last plan is the scale plan and it includes everything from the previous plans. Plus, you'll be able to work on 10 websites and get even more storage, monthly visits and bandwidth for all about $50 a month. All right. Now, another thing that I really like about Elementor is that they have a community of other developers, which can be a great resource for networking and learning from other people. So this can be beneficial, especially for beginners who are looking for guidance, inspiration, and solutions. Overall, Elementor is a great platform where you can build and design your websites with its user-friendly interface, dynamic customization, and community-driven support. It can be a great choice for both beginners and advanced users. So whether you're creating a personal blog, an e-commerce shop, or a profitable website, Elementor will give you all the tools you need to get started. And that's it for today. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And like I mentioned before, if you're interested in trying out Elementor, check out the link in the description down below to get 33% off your purchase. And if you have any questions or personal experience with Elementor, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.